Yeah, I've done this three times, and the, the people who are hacking my device keep shutting off my shutting off my computer, um, shutting off my OBS because obviously they're remotely hacking. Yeah. So I've got to start. I've started over like nineteen times already. So, um, NatWest. I'm trying to take out a bank account with NatWest. So it says identity. So da 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 da. da. So it shows you can do it in store. All that, all that, all that. All that, all that. Group of IGs, blah, blah, blah. Go away, man. Uh, what you need to open a bank account. Uh, you can see all this here. I've never, I've never taken, I've not been to Croydon since 2018. Never been to Leeds, especially with my Xbox. Don't know where Sully Hill is, so that's, uh, that's not me. And um, what's this now? This is them banning me from using Xbox, um, on messaging and stuff. Mental uh, North London partnership. It's basically, he it says North London, so it's a blah blah blah. Come then, blah, blah, blah. it says all that. But it says a specialist service, personality disorder, psychosis, nationwide mental health service. It's really everywhere, isn't it? Yeah. So they're saying, is everyone dead? One that's going around spreading my shit. Around to everyone, so cover human intelligence, all that, all that, and then what's the interception of communication? So obviously the people who are keep turning off the, the OBS, they apparently have some warrant to do that. But I guess the evidence used to get it is, is false. So it's basically illegal anyway, based on that. Direct surveillance, um, equipment interference, um, both data. But they are to all that um, law and governance, MFI law and governance, so rules of responses. It's actually based on the MFI office, it's set out in the Security Act 1989, SSA, the acts of uh, functions and gives uh, some examples of that. And to protect national security and threats from espionage, terrorism, and sabotage, from the activities of agents of foreign powers and from actions intended to overthrow or undermine parliamentary democracy by political industrial or violent means to safeguard economic well-being or UK against threats um hold by actual intention and personal so the active support of activities of pol police forces and law enforcement agencies between prevention detection and serious crime. Yeah democracy the democracy domestic security so it must be applicable on account of it. <coughs> they act also the authority the Secretary of the State so this court gives them the word he gives them the word or she in practice, the Home Secretary, who is accountable for Parliament, and the Act of the Directive General, the rights to respect of privacy of life. You can violate these rights all the time, but man, in life. That's what they see, like, every fucking thing to do. Intelligence gathering, all that. Covert surveillance is, is not intrusive. The use of covert human intelligence services. I couldn't, uh, so you have intrusive or non-intrusive. Intrusive is when they're inside the house and emails and the computer and all that. Like. Oversight of powers, access to information, and uh, police powers are restricted. Men are determined to find a criminal activity related to terrorism and police powers to deal with them. Early intervention and investigation may introduce. Basically, they can, do, they can make any accusation about you and then come inside your life. Not until they come inside your life, then I guess they, you know how that works out. That they can do anything to you after that point. Then. So you get the whole point now. Uh, Microsoft terms of use. Every time I do this, it keeps fucking um, coming off it. Ask it, it keeps breaking the link to it. So Microsoft terms of use. No, none to it. Coming in software, blah, blah, blah. Documents, representation of warranty. So you can see this here, limited liability here. You can see what it says. In that, because you can damage your damage what so the result in loss of use of data, profits, and all that. So basically, if you fuck with uh, Microsoft, Microsoft can sue you, but oh, if you do something, they have no real right to help you. That's basically what it says. So, all this password, so you can see the signing into my accounts, my EA accounts. Guess what? It's a violation of EA terms of services, not technically Microsoft. But it's the same thing. They went through the device to do unlawful or prohibited use. I didn't prohibit nobody to sign in your accounts. So, it's obviously unlawful. And uh, prohibited. It's a violation of the code of conduct here, guys. So it's an application for a private commission. Obviously, otherwise, collecting information about others, including email addresses, 
violate that, that, that create for the identity of purpose of misleading others. So you get me. So they're screwed. <laughs> so reverse engineering. You may not use AI services to discover any online components of the model algorithm and systems. For example, you may not try to determine or remove the weights of module. Extracting data, limiting use of data, blah, 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 blah. Third party links, no, is it making claims of copyright and unsolicited submissions or not? At some point, they're going to turn this video off again. Um, things are, things are strong, you know, like crash this to me. Um, they see how fast, how fast we go before the car crumbles, and obviously, can cause life threatening injuries. Fair play rules, they're violating fair play rules. Uh, malicious communication, malicious intent, blah, 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 blah. so mind control, um, isolating victims, restricting access to information. So the right to know, the right to ask, the right to know is simple. Once that's being violated, you're, the government's abusing you, you get me? And then you you, attack, you you behave violently, then MI5 come and say, oh, we stopped it and no number of people could have been harmed and they were abusing it because they're restricting you from information so they not that they can go anywhere with what they're doing that. so this is the best they have got and the best they can do they can't do anything more so my guy's life his job is stuck for the rest of his life until i drop dead he stopped doing this <laughs> no moving up for you my friend <laughs> pushing their partners consume drug and alcohol exhausting them physical humiliation uh, making them pay, crack on the mentality, blah blah blah, all that, all that. And defining reality. Abuse also define reality. So I'm reading this bit. Um, so abuse also define reality, control their uh, partner. They may repeat it as assertions about uh, love means how people should behave in relationship and the way things are. Abusers present household rules, rules and responsibility as common sense and non negotiable. By establishing the terms of reality, abuse define their cruel and controlled behavior. As inevitable, normal, acceptable, or even as proof of love. For example, not only the wife, Cindy, that she loved him, she allows him to do whatever he wanted to her sexually. Some told Chris that love parlors par par all, and therefore she had to forgive him if, um, if he apologized, blah, blah, blah. So, I'm not quite sure how that works. Because if you want to sexually experiment with your partner, yeah, so. A man wants to, a man does that. He wants to try new things. His partner doesn't want to. And they can claim he's abusive. Okay, cool. Uh, the roles reverse. A woman wants to try new things. A guy is not into it. Are you not going to say he weren't fulfilling her sexual needs if he goes out and cheats on him with somebody else? Yeah, I mean, because can a man call abuse in that situation? I don't think so. I mean, it would be very, very, very strange to hear a man call abuse in that situation. But your woman wants to try and use things that spice up the relationship. You're like, nah, I don't want to do that. She goes out and she, she's going to say, oh, you weren't, I guess, you weren't satisfied or all this. She was trying to talk to him, but, you know what I mean, he's not listening, blah, blah, blah. That's how they would spin it on you. As the man you do that, you're an abuser. My country can make a film this blah 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 tips of recovery, all that, all that. So this is not me, this is some white lady from the University of Massachusetts. America and England basically they use everything they do is the same. They are typically the same country. One's just got some warmer states and climates than the rest, but they're typically the same. They just call the shit different, but it's really the same laws, everything they do is the fucking same. Yeah, so that's why when you fuck up in America, you basically fuck up here too. And everybody's a hair. So all of this noise, yeah, blah blah blah. So anti psychotics, blah blah blah. This is what it does to you. Anti collagenic anti collagenic effects. Basically they put you on medication so you are being covertly medicated. You don't know, guess what? All these you're gonna look like a fucking crackhead in the streets, but and people are going to see you looking like a cracker. So you have what you call covert medi medication. Yeah? And that is antipsychotics. So it makes you delusional. Yeah? It says it can cause these things. Increase heart rate. Which, oh, you're just sat down. 
Some con is covertly medicating, you don't know. Alright, cool. Your heart rate is just flying over the top all the fucking time, bro. You're gonna be calling the, the doctor, eh, calling the ambulance, eh, and they're gonna say, Oh, you're having a panic attack. Man. They don't take you and test you out to make sure you're having a panic attack because it's possibly going to be marked on your, you're gonna have a mark on your medical records when the NHS turns up. Or however they do it. They, what are they gonna say? Are they gonna say, Oh, you're having a panic attack? Or are they gonna say, Well, tell you, you're being covert and you're being medicated. Mate, are you aware that you're on antipsychotics? Uh, no. Guess what? Legal problem. So they're obviously not going to tell you. Because the NHS is the ones who do it anyway. So they're not going to fuck up each other. Basically, they're going to hide it from you. And tell you that you're mentally ill. All of that, it looks like mental illness. Hallucination, delirium, increased heart rate, blood pressure, urinary retention and constipation, drowsiness, dizziness and confusion. Oh, oh you can't. You can't understand what, what we are saying. And what's it called? What's the proper terminology of that? In it? Yeah, you lack capacity to understand what... Yeah, 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 capacity. You lack capacity. So these cons can medicate you. Yeah, however they do it. I don't know the exact way they do it. But they find somewhere medicating. You start exhibiting all these signs. Now you're in the middle of town swatting at fucking zombies. And screaming at people and trying to grab a knife out of some shop, running around trying to stab people because you're fucking hallucinating as a result of the medication. Why are they gonna put on that new channel about you? You're never gonna hear, oh, well, we were medicating him and he didn't fucking know, and that's the reason. So technically, he can't go to prison because it's not really his fault. No, no, no. They're gonna say terrorist or a mentally ill man. So you can see if MI5. And any one of these play people like these, if they really have an issue with you, but they don't like something about you, they can have that done to you through these guys. Because it's the same fucking thing. They can have it done to you through this. And why in God's sake would white people, <coughs> would white people create a system like this, which leads to, where was that? Yeah, is that one? No, yeah. Why would it lead to this? Because COVID medication, this is all the problems or some of the problems that we give it. No, I say, so all of a sudden you're going to be feeling sick all the fucking time, I don't know. You're going to be randomly vomiting at some point, I don't know. You're going to get pure headaches, I don't know. You're going to be unable to sleep. Oh, doctor, um, I keep vomiting. Doctor is going to test you. Guess what? On your record, your medical record that he has access to, oh, you're being covert and medicated. What's the doctor going to say? He can't tell you. So what exactly is that doctor going to say to you? Oh, you're now having insomnia, you can't sleep at night. What's the, doc what's the doctor going to say to you? Is he going to give you now sleeping pills on top of the cover, on top of the antisite of cosmetics you're going to get? You're one fucking fuck up away from, I guess, an overdose, really. You know, at that point, you're one fucking fuck up right away from an overdose. Because you don't know you're being medicated you go to that doctor that doctor now does not tell you that you're being medicated why maybe if you go to a private doctor maybe if you own you, what's it called blue post or whatever so you can see this is designed for poor people this cannot be done to the rich because the rich people will technically use the private hospital the private hospital will say but well, why are you on antipsychotics you better because they have nothing to do with the fucking nhs they don't have to worry about losing their jobs for the nhs nhs you don't have to worry about any of that. The regular doctor, the GP, you're going to lose your fucking job if you ever say nothing. So you see how that works. So it's designed for the poor. Um, you're going to be sitting there. Yeah, we call it your blood running cold. That's what we say in Jamaica. They call it tremors. Your eyes are going to start going blurry. Guess what? Now you're having blurry visions. Where are you going? What's that? You're going to spec savers. Oh, my left eye is moving funky. Now you have glasses. So all of these different people, the doctor, the spexy, what do they call them? Op ophthalmology? No, not that what they call them? Something, whatever they call them, yes. Yeah, opticians, yes. They're going to be like, oh, you need glasses. And all of them are going to know that. Well, technically, it could be the medication. And all of them are going to give you all these different fucking things. Yeah? 
have you feeling like you are some, I guess, alien, some weirdo, some inadequate human? Um, you're some subhuman of a person, so you need all these various aids, and it's really the medication. Yeah, drowsiness. Oh, you're tired all the time. Now they're telling you, oh, your iron is low. Oh, your B12 is low. Oh, you need more sunlight. Oh, you need to eat more food. Oh, you need to go to the the gym. Oh, you need to do all of this. <laughs> Yo, now you're getting fat. Exactly. <laughs> now you're getting fat all the time. Oh, you need to eat better. Oh, you need to eat less fast food. Oh, you need to drink less alcohol. They're going to tell you everything else but the truth. And that's going to run you down because you're going to be trying every fucking thing to stop these things from happening. You're eventually, you're never going to stop it from happening. Why? Because they're still medicating you the whole fucking time. Because whatever they were medicating you for in that reason, it's only going to be worse at this point, won't it? Because now you have all these issues, nobody can be giving you an answer. You all, at some point, you're going to look at these doctors and think that, and be angry at them and say, you man are shit, man. At some point, guess what? High blood pressure, glucose levels, metabolic issues. So either weight gain, metabolic issues, comes hand in hand. Yeah? If, you, if you're a person who eats a lot, your, it's more likely it's going to slow down your metabolic because that's what antipsychotic does. It's like a tranquilizer sort of thing. They don't tell the truth, but that's what it really is. It's more like a tranquilizer. It basically completely so, slows you down. It's like, what's the word now? It, um, not not seduce, not reduce. Like subdues you. No, is that? no that's not the word. Yet. It's basically, when they, you ever see people when they put them in hospital, or you see their movies or whatever, they hold them down in the bed, they inject them and then fall asleep. It's not, not tranqu tranquilizing what they call it for animals, but I can't remember what, the, what they call it for humans. But it's the same thing. So, metabolic issues, what it's doing is slowing down your whole body, your brain. And if your brain slows down, your body slows down. Your body's going to malfunction because it's moving at a slower rate. You're obviously going to get some sort of issue. Your, your sex drive is now screwed. Because if your metabolic issues, if your metabolic rate is going up, your blood pressure is too high, it won't affect your dick, you get me? Yeah. You don't, that won't happen. The sex drive thing won't really affect women to a degree. But men, trust me, men suffer. It's crucial for men. It's dangerous. Yeah. So, I mean, this anti-collagenic. So, collagenic, yeah, it's like more facial features, like how you're looking. Yeah. So, you can see your... This now, yeah. So, like I said, yo, imagine walking around with pure dry mouth, like bare white thing in your skin. You're seeing a nice girl, you're like, yo, babes, yeah. she's like, hey, get away from me. <laughs> you're like, why? You look in the mirror, you got bare white shit on your corner of your mouth. Yeah. Your nose is running all the time, your throat's sore all the fucking time, you can't see properly. Every time you see that sunlight, you're hiding away like you're some vampire. You get me? Increased body temperature, you're always hot. Which means you're always sweating. Means you're gonna smell at some point. If every time you're hot, you're gonna be sweat, and you're gonna smell real funky at some point. You know? you know what I mean? So you're guess what that leads into the constant washing of clothes and buying detergents, running the heat, and all of this thing. It's gonna cost you eventually. It will fucking cost you at some point. So this one decision they made to covertly medicate you without you know, or even why you know it ultimately financially costly so you can see why people with um, mental health problems actually get a benefit alongside yeah that's why they actually get a benefit alongside no they don't really advertise why because they're aware that it will cost you 500 Ur urinary retention all of a sudden you're pissing more more than you should or you can't piss at all you shit in more than you should, can't shit at all. Increase heart rate, like I say. Increase heart rate and blood pressure. I say panic attack, basically. They're, they're trying to go around the situation by labeling uh, that. But what you're looking at there is a fucking panic attack. Whether it is a real panic attack, I don't believe in panic attack. I think it's really these things. You have some sort of issue and you think you're having a panic attack. But what you're really having is some met medical problem and that doesn't just so like I say hallucinations 
You don't know you're being covered in Medicaid. Now you're walking around the city of Manchester. Now you start saying all sorts of mad shit. <laughs> you get me? You start saying some mad shit, doing some mad shit. You get me? You don't know that this is going on. Now you're out there smoking, drinking, sniffing, whatever you people do. do. I mean, now you're doing that. Why are you being covertly medicated? And then you're going to the doctor. You have now, guess what? The, the antipsychotic causes insomnia. Now you're on drinks and drugs. You're on a binge. You ain't going to sleep for the next 65 hours, bro. 74 hours and counting. You get me? Guess what? Now they go, oh, he's not sleeping. Oh, how's he sleeping? Oh, I mean, I haven't sleep for 45 days. <laughs> you ain't going to say, oh, well, the medication does that to you, you know? No, 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 they're going to say, oh, well, we need to take him in to the hospital. Now you're in hospital, and they're the ones who did it. Because I watched them for, since 2019, right up until present day, I watched them. They came to my house maybe about four weeks ago, three weeks ago, asking me about my sleep. So, obviously, I acted like I knew nothing. You know, like, why are you asking me about my sleep? you like, oh, we just want to get to know you. you know? So you don't need to get to know me. Yeah, I mean, you really don't need to get to know me. She's like, oh, it's not going to stop. I was like, what do you mean? She's like, oh, we're not going to stop coming. I was like, nobody's stopping from coming. But at some point, you're going to be talking to yourself like I did. She just she, she laughed. So she was like, oh, how's your sleep? I was like, my sleep is the same as it usually is. I was like, how? I should have said, really? How how do you deal with the side effects of what your, you people are doing? And it causes somebody not to sleep. But to be honest, I weren't thinking on that level. I was just trying to see what they were really up to and what they were here for. So, like I said, that hallucination thing is problematic for the individual and the individual only. Because if you're being covertly medicated, yeah, somebody authorized that. You know what I mean? Somebody authorized it. Somebody carried out the the act of the authorization and somebody gave permission which usually your wife partner and it has to be a partner in a certain degree or parent or legal guardian and they're all going to be in on that now yeah they're all going to be in on the activity they all had known what they were doing they all planned it because they had to get somebody to cover the medication so they all planned the shit you get me so now you start hallucinating. Delirium is basically like a, a like a more paranoid version of a hallucination. Yeah. So a hallucination, you technically see things that aren't there. So delirium is like you ever seen them things where people are like, oh, fucking insects are crawling on them, and they're, they're frantic in it. So it's like frantic behavior and panic and hallucination. Like delirium, so like I said, you're walking somewhere, yeah? you're walking on the road, you don't know that all of a sudden you start sweating fucking flies that aren't there. That everyone in, in Manchester City town is not looking at you, you're like, Oh, get off me, screaming, blah blah blah, blah all this, all this. <laughs> and they're all gonna stand there, look at you. Next thing, guess what? Hospital for your trap. And nobody in a hospital is going to tell you that, well, it's possibly the medication. They're going to put you on more medication. <laughs> I don't like these guys. Uh, definitely, you know. Well, you guys, they're a problem. And uh, decide, I'm going to get rid of the system. And the whole world has to suffer. Uh, I'm going to get rid of it. Bro. I, mean, I promise the, the world I'm going to get rid of this. The whole Western Hemisphere, I don't care what goes on anywhere else. I live in the West, but I'll get rid of that blood. Like, you man can't be carried on these way. So, like I said, the abusers, they like to shift blame. So, they covertly medicate you. You can get any random combination of all them fucking side effects, or you can get all of them, but you bet your ass you're getting some side effects. And if you're covertly medicated, something happens as a result, whether you self harm, harm others. As a result of what the, the, medi the medicine altering your brain, biology, the whole thing, the medication does that. 
They're not going to come and say, oh, it's possible the medication. What are they going to do? Abusers try to shift the blame to become the victim. They are now going to say, oh, it's your mental state or you had some terrorist fucking ideology. Now MI5 uh, is going to run to their rescue. Every other security place is going to, it's going to paint a bad image of the country. And if you go on MI5 stuff, like any of these places, if it says it protects the interests and certain things of the, the nation. So MI5 is going to get wind of that, run to their people. And they're going to dig up anything they can dig up about you. Yesterday, last week, 10 million years ago, and put that publicly out there to, to try and cover up the situation. Unlike you, man. And this is why they do it, because they know that uh, fucking security, that's what they do, that's what they're there for. They spend more time making you look like a monster than actually saving the world that they're pretending. They talk about James Bond, like James Bond, everyday James Bond's out there stopping um, nuclear bombs and that. Nah, they spend most time destroying someone's character more often than not. Trust me, they're experts at that. Well, that's why they do these things, because they know, they know MI5 will, like any security would run and say them, because national security comes under the, the interest and the image of the nation, how the nation looks publicly, so like scandals and that. If they come, they're going to turn that around and you make you look like a bad person. They'll go and say, they'll go and say the NHS, the social, all these things. And when things go bad for, when things go bad for the NHS, they come and save the NHS just to say. That's why they combine the mental health services and them and counter terrorism together. Is because they save each other pretty much all the time. When counterterrorism, intelligence, and the police fuck up, the NHS comes to their rescue and medicate you covertly and make you look loopy and the loopy stuff. And then they don't ever put that in their report that always oh, could be side effects because they'll have to test you. How are they going to test you if it's that that's causing the issue? If you don't know, how are they going to get you into the situation to test you? So you can see where the ethical problems they save each other all the time. And it's not just England and those are the whole West is like that. Because like I say, anything happens in this country, nine out of ten times, not every time, nine out of ten times it happens everywhere else. So yeah, shadow banning, so guess what? When you make it look mental, uh, the security was spreading rumors about me, trying to say I'm some sort of some guy, terrorist, Russian, um, uh, a Russian spy, so Middle Eastern sympathizer, you know what I mean, terrorist sympathizer, listening to idea, you know what I mean, bam, bam, bam. So guess what? They now come and they fuck with you. Oh, it didn't work out like that, but they already told the whole world about you and that. Oh, shit. Now they need to start fucking with you mentally. They use this tactic. Hack all your shit, fuck with your shit. Now, guess what? You're going to start saying bare man stuff, blah, blah, blah. They isolate you, you know what I mean? Oh, be true. What's that thing called? Aiding and abetting. In America, it's called aiding and abetting. Over here, I think it's called assisting an offender. It's basically the same thing. Yeah? Oh, they, they isolate you through that tactic. After isolating you through that tactic, now you're going to think like, oh, why is people abandoning me? Now you're going to think, oh, it might have been your friend, mom, uncle, or auntie. Now you attack them, guess what? Bam, you look mad. <laughs> you don't attack them, guess what? They're going to try to attack them because the security, that's what the security force does. It's either protecting itself and its public image or protecting any, any part of the government or the country. Public image. You know, they you deploy all, any tactic they feel necessary but somebody has to sign off on it. So ostracism, you can see ostracism in nine or ten times a deliberate act. Um, what's this one? They did similar stuff to this guy, stole his idea, Nikola Tesla. So that's who, what's that guy called? Elon Musk. So the, the vehicle called Tesla, you see running around the streets of the last ten years. <laughs> that's who his name was, that guy, what they did it to. And he didn't give it the name because it's it, for a good reason. You were taking the piss, really. 
Yeah, so containment, obviously. Isolation, containment, it's basically the same thing. Um, fraud by false representation, so they can dishonestly uh, misrepresent or misunderstand or misappropriate anything you say. Oh, I like guns. Oh, right, we've heard him say he likes guns. We must go and check if he's got guns. Now they're searching every bush and fucking alley and swamp as far as the eye can see to say if they found anything, you know what I mean? They're going to make up all sorts of stories. That's all they have. Mm, sarcasm. Uh, sarcasm is like reverse psychology. So, tries to get that now. Um, four elements in essential and torture. Um, so, yeah, this part, conducting... It's going to turn off my thing at some point. Conducting physical assault, mental. So, you see, the whole process would be mental and be mental torture. Because if you're covertly medicated, be medicated, you're possibly going to start saying, oh, you feel like you're being poisoned. Every time you say you feel like you're being poisoned, they now start saying you're paranoid. They know they're medicating you. You don't know you're being medicated by them. They write misappropriated on purpose and say, oh, he, he's paranoid thinking that people are trying to kill him. When you're being medicated, you start you're feeling sick all the time. There's no explanation for it. You're obviously going to feel like you're being poisoned. Involvement of state official by acquaintances or proxy. Torture can be coming to go through an act or an omission. For instance, the state should face the response to basic needs of a prisoner, such as heat, winter, proper washing, facilities, clothing, medical care, deprivation of food and water, a prolonged period of time can amount to torture. For instance, red dress can, Latin America, blah, blah, blah. Infliction of mental harm. You get the whole situation there. I want to get this done with it. Um, so they can possibly so you're being covertly medicated who is there to watch what they do and not actually give it you know what I mean who is there isn't it because if you go through history yeah people have been accidentally given the wrong medication there's plenty of times when things like that happen sometimes it's found out that well they actually they on purpose or sometimes it's a genuine accident. So if that can be done whether purposely or accidentally, you are being covertly medicated. Who is over there over these people with your best interest in mind to know exactly what they are giving you every single time? Because they write down they gave him a hundred milligrams of um I guess what's going on? I must go with the thing called over there. Well, I can't one of them zines in it. Yeah, there's some zine on there at the end. Of it. There's always some zine there. All right, leave it. Hmm. There's always some zine at the end of it. Yeah, cool. Yeah? They write down 100 milligrams of one of them zine. Yeah? How the fuck do you know? How does anybody know that it was one of them zines and it were Get him. Now, it's impossible to know. What are they going to go off of? The record, they're going to go off of what they wrote down. So the man, they could, the man could literally inject you with fucking heroin, yeah? And now you're itching, scratching. You don't know that you're having some heroin addiction. You have no fucking idea that's what's going on. All of a sudden, you're scratching. You can't sleep. You have cold sweats. Yeah, problem. You don't know that's what happened. You can't have a fix if you don't know what the problem is. <laughs> so they can fucking inject you with that shit, yeah? Because there's certain type of drugs with heroin in there. It's like, I think, was it? Morphine's got cocaine in it, in it, yeah? So certain drugs do have these actual drugs in there. They inject you with something like that. You don't fucking know that you have, you're being, I guess, drip-fed into an addictive lifestyle. And this is just my theory, just to just be clear. You're being drip fed into hard drugs and you don't know. Because the government would rather you go and be on the roadside sniffing 10 kilos of fucking whatever every day than pose a legal problem for them. Them niggas do. We all know what the, what the system does. We all know what, what goes on. So they don't have a problem with fucking you. <laughs> as long as you're not dead. 
And as long as he's proving, even if you aren't dead, as long as he's proving that they did not directly do it themselves, whether they led you down the fucking trough or the pig trap or, or the slaughterhouse, as long as that's the case, it doesn't matter. But who can tell? Because you're just going to go after the report. Because no matter what, yeah, you would have been being medicated a period of time without you knowing that's what was going on. So the time when you didn't know, It's not like they're bringing your parents and legal guardian and your wife and your wife sits over you, takes a picture of exactly what it was, write down the exact details herself, you know what I mean? Because say she agreed to it, your wife agreed to it, your legal guardian agreed to it, your parent agreed to it, whoever is fucking responsible for you agrees to it, yeah? It's not like they're going to come and sit over you while that is being done. And it's not like they're going to go and take it to a lab themselves and get it tested before it's administered. No, no, no. They are all going to be quiet about it. And you're going to wonder what's going on. You live with your wife. You're going to think that this bitch is trying to poison you. You're just my trying to attack her and kill her. What are they going to say? Or you going to the court and say, oh, I felt like she was poisoning me. They're going to know that that wasn't what was going on, but they were doing what they were doing. They will cover that up, aren't they? So you can see this whole covert medication thing is a major problem for society. And I think it's a punishment. I don't think it's a legitimate thing. I think it's abuse. In every shape of the world, it can't it can't be classified as nothing else but fucking abuse. Because like I say, you might be medicated for twelve months straight. Every month they give you a dose without you knowing however they administer it. Yeah. But for twelve months. You get into court now about it when you find out about it. What is the court going to what is the court going to go?